Hello anime fans, Anime Guru here with another special unboxing, which isn't quite unboxing, more like an update, and that's because of me screwing up on the original videos. But, uh, let's get started. Anyway, I have uh, Berserk Volume 32. I ordered this back mid-January. Siren Volume 9. I ordered this the day after Christmas. Now, What's the moral of the story here, guys? Do not buy manga on right stuff. Anime? Great. There's a lot of things there, good prices, especially on Aniplex uh, purchases. A lot of good prices. But the problem is, it seems to me that right stuff does not keep a very large supply of uh, manga at their warehouse because I've had a lot of things. Uh, take a while to get to me uh, and saying you know more arriving soon and that soon is in quotation marks because two months is not soon and it took that long for them to get siren in stock um, I would I would try looking around on Amazon uh, the most for manga uh, sometimes it'll be maybe a dollar dollar and a half more but knowing you won't have to wait two months is worth a dollar and a half at least for me I mean, that, that's just how I look at it here I have uh, is this a zombie volume three I've read the first two volumes of the manga and it's been enjoyable so far uh, if you're a fan of the anime I would suggest uh, checking out the manga uh, the manga is still ongoing so there is more of the series that you can uh, learn about and read about um, past the two anime series, two seasons of the anime that came out. Here is Puella Magi Kazumi Magica. This is a spin-off of, oh it's Vine 4, and it's a spin-off of the original uh, Madoka Magica anime series. Um, it's not as good as the Madoka series. Um, the art style is kind of iffy at times. Uh, and the story kind of jumps all over the place, but uh, I was a fan of the original series, wanted to check out more, and uh, it's only five volumes, I'm on volume, this is volume four, so I'm probably just going to finish it. And last, this is the one I'm enjoying the most out of all these pickups. This is volume three of Umi Neko, When They Cry. Uh, this is Turn of the Golden Witch, part one. This is like the second arc in the visual novel. Um... Now, a lot of people aren't fans of the anime of Umi Neko, me included. I really enjoyed the concept of the series, but not its delivery. Especially because we didn't get any answers. The good thing about the manga is that it's going, it's starting at the beginning of the visual novel. It's going all the way to the end of the visual novel. All the arcs, all the chapters and everything, including the Chiru arcs, which um, are the answers arcs. So we will get a conclusion, we will get answers, which I'm really looking forward to. Uh, if you enjoyed the mystery of the series, enjoyed the whole concept of battles of wits between Battler and Beatrice, uh, then I would highly suggest reading the manga. Um, so yeah, let's go on to my anime purchases. So, here I have Kaon Volume 3. I'm really enjoying this series. I blew through the second volume um, in a day. I marathoned, it was like four episodes on it though, and I marathoned the shit out of it. Um, or maybe three, four or three, I don't know. But I marathoned the shit out of it, finished it right and it turned on, put the DV on, the Blu-ray on, watch the whole thing. It, it's a really fun series to watch. It sells itself as a music anime, but there's really no music in it. It's more just uh, character development, relationships between the characters, and uh, the comedy that, of daily life, I guess. It's really funny. Uh, here, I have Five Brain, Season 2, Part 1. This I held off for a very long time. I wasn't even sure if I was going to pick it up. Um, I watched season one last summer, um, and it was good, 
but it wasn't great. But I decided to pick it up and not drop it yet. And uh, so yeah, I'll see if I like this more. Now this series, let me just show you what it is. Lucky Star Volume 2. I decided to pick this up because a lot of people say it's really funny. And um, because of recent shows that I started to get into, like Yuri Yuri and uh, K-On is another one. I'm really starting to like the whole comedy moe genre. Um, and I've heard Lucky Star is one of the best. Now, for anyone who's trying to collect Lucky Star, there are several ways you can get it. The only problem is they're all going to be slightly expensive because they were licensed by Bandai, who is now defunct, in America at least. So, your first option is your Anime Legends box set, which includes the whole series, one set, you can get it for about 90 bucks on Amazon. Now, of course it's used. Your second way uh, choice is to get the Blu-ray import series. This will not have a dub on it, but it's Blu-ray, it has English subs, and you can get it for about 250 a little expensive, but probably the best quality you're going to get. The last way, and it's the way I'm getting it, is the parts series. You can get the first part, limited edition, for about 20 bucks, 25 bucks, and that includes a nice box, really nice sturdy box too, um, that opens up in the front and holds all six DVDs in it. And then you can get the other uh, two through five volumes. Volumes two through five for between fifteen and two dollars. That's really good so far. The only problem is part six. Part six is very rare and hard to find, and it can be expensive. I've seen people listing on Amazon for twenty three hundred dollars, which was ridiculous. It was not going to happen. But on eBay, I saw it purchased for forty to fifty bucks, and that was beginning of January, mid February. So, if you really look for it, which I'm going to be doing, it's going to take time, but. I'm going to look for it. Eventually, I'm sure I'll be able to find it for a decent price. Last, I have Wagnaria, also known as Working in English. A series that I've wanted to check out for a while, just held off on it for whatever reason. Now I got it. I'll be watching it soon. So, anyway, that is my anime update for today. Uh, this is part one for the month of February. I know, I know it's March, but I bought this in February. But... Um, this is part one. I'll probably have another update sometime next week when the rest of my stuff comes. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Uh, if you what did, please comment, like, and subscribe. Uh, also, you know, if you want to talk about some of the anime that I picked up, tell me what you thought about it. Would love to hear from you guys. Um, but yeah, until next time. See you later.